So now we'll take a look at the slices axially of the internal auditory canal or internal acoustic canal it's sometimes called. So your sagittal image will stay the same. This is anterior here with a TMJ joint and this is posterior, superior and inferior. And this is the right side of the patient. So we're looking at the right pinna, the right oracle and the external auditory meatus coming in medially and you can see the cochlea here, that nice swirl of the cochlea and a little bit of the mastoid air process here. It's not the best picture of the IAC, um, but at least we'll give you an idea as we're coming down into the cochlea and you know the semicircular canals sit more superiorly and more posteriorly than that. And then also this 3D image will give you a good idea of where we are when we come into the semicircular canals as well. So I'm going to just start um, sliding through these slices here. And so this again is the right side of the patient. You've got a little bit of the mastoid air cells here and we'll be coming into the right oracle, oracle and um, pinna here as we move inferiorly. Oh, wrong way. There we go, so more of the mastoid air cells and you're catching the very um, top part of the anterior semicircular canal. And again, you're catching just slices of the two semicircular canals here. And now we're just going to start to come in where you can see the seventh and eighth nerves coming in here as they course toward the cochlea. And then you can see the semicircular canal here as well and the ampulla. And again, as you hover on these, you're going to be able to see um, the anatomy if it's not already up there. But you can see the posterior semicircular canal here. You're just catching a little wisp of that. The lateral semicircular canal here. And then the uh, internal acoustic meatus, they call it here in e anatomy, but sometimes it's internal auditory meatus. And so we'll keep coursing inferiorly. Make sure to take a look here at the 3D version as well as the sagittal version to see where we are. So we're not quite to the TMJ joint here. And we'll start to see that laterally here and then um, we're going to just catch the tip of the cochlea here in another slice or two. And there you're catching the IAC. So it wasn't a great, as a nice a picture as you sometimes see where you can see it come all the way in um, in one slice, but you are catching the um, seventh and eighth nerves here, and then the cochlea sits anterior to that. And there's a nice, nice shot of the cochlea there. Kind of looks like a little seashell. And we're just coming into the TMJ joint right here. And then there's another nice shot of the TMJ joint and the external auditory meatus and the tympanic membrane. And that should give you a good idea of uh, the images through e-anatomy that you have for your reference. Also be sure to look at your Weir book. They've got some nice images of the uh, IAC there as well as the external auditory meatus and all of the parts that are in between. Um, so make sure you use that for your reference as well.